Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Yahweh Kachodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who will well teach well, because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect. And shalom to you, sincere brother scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And pretty much we're going to go into the basics of the scriptures. And this is going to be Hebrews 101, the name of the Lord. Now I saw big bro Amawan Abad. Shout out to that big bro. He did a lesson on it. And other brothers did a lesson on it. You know, because you got Israelite groups out there that are still pushing. That the Lord goes by many names and different different names, which is different doctrines, man. And the Lord doesn't go by many different names. That's Roman Catholic Catholicism. But you got these Israelite groups out there, they pushing that the Lord goes by many names. That's different doctrines there. You got to know the name of the Lord. The Lord only has one name. So we're going to bring this out through the Spirit. The Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. I'm going off the top of the head. And the first precept I'm going to get in is that uh, Exodus 15 and 3. This is Exodus 15 and 3. Fifteen and verse three, because it's important. This is important, man. You need to know the name of the Lord. The Lord does not go by many names. This is Exodus fifteen and three. It says, "The Lord is a man of war." Con, the Lord is a man of war, a man in spirit, man. It says, "The Lord is a man of war." The Lord is His name. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is His name. What is the name of the Lord? Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the one only true name of the Heavenly Father. Who the world ignorantly calls God. His true name is Yahweh. Yah means he. Yahweh means to be, exist, he is. Alright, that's the name of the Heavenly Father. It's, it's Yahweh. That's the true name of the Heavenly Father. We got another precept. This is, um, actually I got that Sirach 17 and 10. Get out my apographer. This is uh, Sirach 17 and 10. These scriptures, man, all you got to do is read them. It's in the scriptures, man. It's simple. This is Sirach. And bear with me. This is Sirach 17 and verse 10. It says, and the elect shall praise his holy name. The elect shall praise his holy name, right? Because the scriptures even mention it in Revelation 14 and 1, that the elect, the 144,000, right? You got the lamb, which is Yahweh Shai. When you go into John 1 and 29, it's talking about the lamb, meaning Yahweh Shai, who's going to be at the top. And it mentions the 144,000, which is going to be the government of the kingdom of, of heaven, which is the elect, the nation of Israel. That 144,000 is all the elect men. But you're going to have the elect under that. You're going to have the 144,000, which is all the elect men, who, who will be the judges of the throne of Israel. And you're going to have the elect that's under that. And then it says they're going to be sealed, right? Going into Revelation 7, the elect is going to be sealed. And they're going to have the name of, they're going to have the Father's name. So the elect is going to be sealed with the knowing of the name of the Lord. So this is why the name matters. For you people out there that say that the Lord's name doesn't matter, you're going off. Because the name does matter. How? The elect is going to be sealed with the name of the Lord. So if you don't know the name of the Lord, how are you going to be sealed? The elect is going to be sealed with the knowing of the name of the Lord. It's in the scriptures. So that's why it's important to know the name. It's important. For you guys out there that say don't make the name a doctrine, you're going off. You are going off. I got another precept. This is going to be... I'm going to go to that Proverbs. This is Proverbs 18 and 10. Let's get that Proverbs 18 and 10 out. Proverbs 18 and 10. It says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and it's safe. See, so the elect is going to be sealed with the name of the Lord. Just to give an example. So this is why we have to know the name of the Lord. The, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The name of the Lord, it does matter. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Yah means He. Yahweh means to be, exists, He is. Ba Hashem. Ba means coming in. Ba means coming in. Right? Ha means the. Sha means name. Ba Hashem, meaning coming in the name. Yahweh Shai. Yah means He. Actually, Ha Mashiach. Yahweh Shai. Ha means the. Mashiach means anointed. Right? Yah means He. Yahweh Shai means Savior, Deliverer. That's the one only true name of the only begotten Son 
who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. But his true name is Jehoshaphat. And yes, he's a so-called black man according to the scriptures. If he's the one on the earth today, he'll be tied as a so-called Negro man. No, he's not no fucking Arab. And two, no, he's not no Middle Eastern. All right? He was a so-called Negro man. If he was the one on earth today, he'll be tied as a Negro man. He comes from the line of Judah. Judah is the so-called Negroes today. The so-called African Americans, as you call them. So-called African Americans, so-called Negroes. That's the tribe of Judah. That's the line of Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai comes of that line. The line of Judah. Right? The tribe of Judah, man. So again, the Lord go, the Lord does not go by many different names. The Lord only has one name. This is why it's important to know the name of the Lord. Because the elect is going to be saved of the knowing of the name of the Lord. So if the name does matter. This is Proverbs 30 and 4. Let's get that Proverbs 30 and 4 out. This is Proverbs 30 and verse 4. It says, Who have ascended up into heaven or descended? Who have gathered the winds in his fists? Who have bound the waters in the garment? Who have established all the ends of the earth? What is his name and what is his son's name if thou canst tell? See, what is his name and what if it, what is his son's name if thou canst tell? So you want, you need to know the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord does matter. You have to know the name of the Lord. What is his name? What is his son's name? Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, which is the name of his only begotten son. They only have one name. They don't go by many different names. That's Roman Catholic doctrine. That's false doctrine. If you're teaching that you can call on the name of the Lord by any name, you're teaching false doctrine. You're going off. The Lord doesn't go by many names, man. He only has one name. He doesn't go by many names. This is, uh... He's got that second Edris 2 and 47. This is second Edris chapter 2 and verse 47. And it says, So he answered and said unto me, It is the Son of the Most High, whom they have confessed into the world. Then began I greatly... To command them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. See, we stand stiffly on that name. We have confidence in that name. We have faith in that name. We know the name of the Lord is Yahweh Bashim Ashai. That is his one and true name. Scriptures say, let, let esteem, let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. We are fully persuaded in our own minds. We know that that's the name of the Lord. We know that that name, calling on that name, is going to save us. Yahweh Bashim Ashai. We have faith in that name. We know that's the name of the Lord. We have confidence in that name. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. That's the name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son. We trust in that name. That's why we stand. That's why it says it stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. We stand stiffly for the name because that is the name of the Lord. That's the name that should be brought out. That the elect, that the fishing, because we're fishing for the elect, that Israel should be able to obtain is that name. But you got a lot of these Israelite groups, they're not calling or teaching on that name. They're teaching them to call on Jesus, call on God, call on Yahweh, Yahuwah. That's all going off. That Those names can't grant you salvation. There's no U in the Hebrew. The letter U is only 500 years old. The letter J is only 500 years old. The letter E is only 500 years old. The letter V is only 500 years old. The letter F is only 500 years old. Those are only 500 years old. The Messiah is over 2,000 years old. How can his name be Jesus? That's not the name. Jehovah, that's not the name. All right? That's not the name. Yeshua, that's not the name. It's Yahweh Shai. That's the name of the only begotten son. Yahweh is the name of the heavenly father. That's his only true name. There's no other name out there. So you guys gotta you guys gotta get with the program out there. You Jakes that's calling on all these other names. And if you bugging out and you comment on my comment about the name of the Lord, I'm I'm not even gonna respond to you because I'm doing this edifying. This is class. You should be learning and taking notes, not stating your bold ass bugged out opinions on my channel. Because I'm not gonna respond. I'm not gonna respond. I'm not gonna respond, y'all, you know, at all. Your, your message is going to be up there and you're just going to be reading your own message because I'm not going to respond to you. This is a lesson for those that are trying to get this truth. That's trying to have an understanding. If you ain't getting it and it's fucking with your spirit and you want to go on my combo and say Ahaya, you're bugged out and you're going to be destroyed. Simple as that. Because Ahaya is not the name of the Heavenly Father. It's not. Yeshaya is not the name of the only begotten Son. It's not. And you're going to be destroyed. Calling on those names. Yep, I said it to you, GOCC. You guys are going off. Ahaya is not the name of the Heavenly Father. It's the only begotten Son. Y'all going off. Second Ezra 2 and 47. So it says, So he answered and said unto me, It is the son of Yahweh, right? It says, Whom they have confessed in the world, 
Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. And we stand stiffly on that name. Yahweh Bashim Hashai, man. That's the name. That's the name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son. There's no other names out there. But Yahweh Bashim Hashai. No na other name out there can save you. But Yahweh Bashim Hashai. That's why the scriptures say that we are to know the name of the Lord. For whosoever call upon the name of the Lord should be saved. Right? The scriptures tells us that. The scriptures informs us. So we have to know the name of the Lord. This is this is Hebrews. I was about to say Hosea, so like it. This is Hebrews 6 and 10. Hebrews 6 and 10. And it says, it's so like it. And it says, for, Yah for Yahweh is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. See? It says, which ye have showed toward his name. See, which we have, which we have showed, which, which we have showed toward his name. Because we teach in that name. We have faith in that name. We have faith in the Lord. We're able to do our works and do our labors and teach the ministry, teach the gospel, having the faith in Yahweh Bashim Hashem. It says, For Yahweh is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye show toward his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints, which are the Israelites. Psalms 148 and 14. That's talking about the Israelites. The saints are the Israelites. It says, and do minister, and do minister. We minister in the name of Yahweh Bashi Mashai. We teach this gospel, which is this good news, in the name of Yahweh Bashi Mashai. Everything that we do in this ministry is of the name and the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashi Mashai, man. It's all, of the, it's all of the Lord. Everything we do, to the teaching, to the studying, to being charitable, to fasting, to praying, to diligence, to exhortation, to humility, right? All of these things that I'm saying is of Yahweh Bahashim Yahashai. It's of the Lord. It's of the Lord Yahweh Bahashim Yahashai. He's doing this for us. He's putting a spirit on us to have these abilities, right? These capabilities to do throughout the throughout throughout our lifetime. The Lord establishes that. The Lord allows that. He's our power. Yahweh Bahashim Yahashai. That's the one only true name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. So that's why the name is important. Because you got individuals out there, they're not recognizing the name of the Lord, man. Right? They say that the name doesn't matter. Are you going off? Let's get that Zechariah 3 and 9. This is Zechariah 3 and 9. Just like it, beloved brothers. This is Zechariah. Oops, I passed it. Zechariah, that's Zephaniah. Let's get that Zephaniah 3 and 9 out first, then Zechariah. This is Zephaniah 3 and 9. It says, For then will I turn to the people a pure language. What's that pure language? The Lashawan Kodash, which is the holy tongue. The Lashawan Kodash, that Paleo Phoenician Hebrew. The Paleo, the ancient Paleo Phoenician Hebrew. All right, that word Paleo means ancient, the ancient Hebrew, which is that Phoenician Hebrew, man. All right, that's the Lashawan Kodash, that pure language. And it says that they may call upon the name of the Lord to serve him with one consent. See? So you got to know the name of the Lord. It does matter. So you guys out there that's teaching that it doesn't matter, you're going off. We have to know the name of the Lord. Yes, the name of the Lord does matter. This is Zechariah. This is Zechariah 14 and 9. Zechariah 14 and 9. This is a future prophecy as well. Zechariah 14 and 9. And the Lord shall be king over all the earth. See? This is a future prophecy. And the Lord shall be king over all the earth. In that day shall they be one Lord in his name one. So the Lord doesn't go by many different names. He only has one name. Yahweh is the one true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the one and true name of the only begotten Son. And Yahweh is the one and true name of the Heavenly Father. The God of Israel in the Bible, his name is Yahweh. That's the true name of the Heavenly Father. His name is Yahweh. It just doesn't he doesn't go by many different names, all right? And let's get that Acts, Acts, uh, Acts fourteen and twelve. This is Acts uh, four and twelve. So like it. This is Acts four and twelve. I said fourteen. Acts four and twelve. It says need. It says neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. So there's none other name given. But Yahweh Bahashim Yahashai. There's no other name out there. No name out there can save you. But the name of Yahweh Bahashim Yahashai. Yahweh Bahashim Yahashai is the one and only true name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. And you have to know that name. That's the name you should be worshiping. 
That's a name you should be calling on. Yahweh Bashim Yashai. Not all these other names. Elohim is not the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh is not the name of the Heavenly Father. Jehovah is not the name of the Heavenly Father. None of those names is the name of the, of the Heavenly Father. The Heavenly Father, His name is Yahweh. That's the only true name. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. There's no other name out there that can save you. There's no other name out there, man. You Jake's out there. This is, uh, he's got that Psalms, 130, Psalms 113. And then we'll wrap it up off of these other two precepts. Just want to do a quick hit. This is Psalms 113 and 1. It says, Praise ye the Lord. Praise, O ye servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. See? So you're supposed to praise the name of the Lord. The name does matter. You're supposed to praise the name of the Lord. The name does matter. Verse 12, it says, Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. See? Blessed be the name of the Lord from, from this time forth and forevermore. So the name does matter. The name does matter. It says, verse 4, From the rising of the sun unto the going down of the, of the same, the Lord's name is to be praised. So we have to know the name of the Lord. Yes, we have to know the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord does matter. We have to know the name of the Lord. We have to know the name of the Lord. And you should know the name of the Lord. It does matter. I'll say it again. We have to know the name of the Lord. You people out there that say the name don't matter, you're going off. Psalms 91 and 14 Because he hath set his love on upon me Therefore will I deliver him I will set him on high Because he hath known my name Let's read that again Because he hath set his love upon me Therefore will I deliver him I will set him on high Because he hath known my name So the name of the Lord does matter We've known the name of the Lord The Lord it matters to know his name. You have to know the name of the Lord. So you guys, I said, don't make it a doctrine. What about this? Psalms 91 to 14. Because he set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he have known my name. So the name does matter. The name does matter. Point blank period. And I'm going to wrap this up with this precept right here. Which is uh, John... I think it's 17 and 6. And then read down. This is John 17 and 6. And this is what the Messiah said. This is John 17 and 6. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou givest me out of the world. It says, Thine, it says, Thine they were, thine they were, and thou gavest them me. And they kept thy word. See? So the Lord is only dealing with specific men in this lifetime. Yeah, there's a lot of Hebrew Israelite groups, but the Lord is not dealing with all of them. Yeah, a lot of these Israelite groups that sold out under the 501c3 charter. So they teaching all these false doctrines. They teaching that the name goes the Lord goes by many different names. You can call on any name. You got guys teaching that we're already in a new covenant. You got all these guys teaching that that the that the MOTB is spiritual. That is sin. You got a lot of these false prophets out here. Not all of them the Lord is dealing with. The Lord's not dealing with all these Hebrew Israelite groups. The Lord is only dealing with specific men. And you got to know who those men are. And those men are the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. On down to the sincere brothers like ourselves. That's prophesying and teaching the same doctrine as Great Millstone. Those are the men you are to be following. Don't follow all these groups. And I said it many times because they're not teaching the same doctrine. They teach in false doctrine. They teach you can call on many different names. Don't make the name a doctrine. You're going off. You are going off. John 17, 25. This is Yahweh Shai speaking again. O righteous Father, the world have not known thee. See, the world don't know the Lord. Only a specific group of men know the Lord. The Lord is not dealing with everybody. Not everybody has the knowing of the Lord. They don't. They claim they do, but they don't. It says, O righteous Father, the world have not known thee, but I have known thee. And these have known that thou hast sent me. And this is this is John 17 and 25 that I'm reading. Right? And this is a cut here because Yahweh Shai is even saying that the Heavenly Father sent him. It says, and this, it says, and these have known that thou hast sent me. So how could how could the only begotten son be the Heavenly Father? No, they're two separate entities. 
You got these people believing in the Trinity doctrine. You got Israelites teaching that, the Trinity doctrine. You fucking going off. The Heavenly Father's only begotten Son are two separate entities. They got they, they got Yahweh and you got Yahweh Shai. Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, they're two separate entities. They're not the same. They're two separate entities. Yahweh Shai sits on the right hand side of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. It's in the scriptures. Verse 26. And I have declared unto them thy name. See? So the Lord hasn't given everybody of the world his name, the knowing of his name. Not every single Israelite has the name of the Lord, has the understanding of the name of the Lord. Only a specific men do. The Lord is dealing with a certain specific group of men. You have the righteous prophet set up for the elect, and you have the false prophet set up for the two-thirds. Not every single Israelite is going to be saved, and not every single Israelite is going to have the knowing of the name of the Lord. This is why so much different Israelite groups with different doctrines, because the Lord is not dealing with all these groups. And the Lord didn't want everybody to know his name. He wanted his people to remember his name. That's why a certain group of men have the knowing of the name of the Lord. They're able to go into the Hebrew and break it down. They're able to go into the Greek and break down the name of the Lord. Not everybody has the knowing of the name of the Lord. Only a specific group does. A specific group of men do, which are the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, on down to the sincere brothers. That's teaching this word in truth and sincerity. John 17 and 26, And I have declared unto them thy name. See, and I have declared unto them thy name, and will declare it, that the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them and I in them. See, so it's the Lord speaking through us. It's the Lord speaking through his prophets. It's the Lord speaking through his men, right? We have the capabilities of the understanding of the name of the Lord. We have the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, which is the Holy Spirit. That's the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. The wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is the Holy Spirit. That's the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of this truth, man. This is why we know the name of the Lord. We have the understanding of this truth. So I'm going to wrap it up with that. I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Mahavah Kakodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who will well teach well because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Way Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Till next time I say, Shalom. A ball, 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 Shalom.